Happy Sunday. Um, cheers. I'm a little sad. It's our last um, soup Sunday. So I figured to go out with a bang. I'm going to do one of my favorites, and I'm going to do a small batch because nobody in my house likes it but me. Uh, French onion. We're going to do like a little crock pot in the broiler and stuff. And then we're going to make a chicken dumpling soup, which I was going back and forth about because we did the matzo ball soup on week one. And when we did that, I kind of felt it was the same thing because you're making like a dumpling, but matzo ball is totally different. So we're going to make a homemade dumpling, drop it in. We're going to make homemade chicken stock because for all the soups we've been doing this past month, um, I'm out of stock. So um, I cleaned a fresh chicken. A whole chicken, not like a fresh one like from the farm. And I have it ready so we can make stock, make our dumplings, French onion soup, little red wine, it's Sunday night, it's cold outside. I love French onion soup. Um, and I feel that people might not try it at home because it's intimidating or you have to use a broiler or how do we get the cheese melted. So it's one of the reasons I was really happy that someone like requested it. And actually every soup that we did the whole month was a request from one of you guys. So I love that. Um, so you don't have to do it. I'm doing this for aesthetics here. Cute little crock pot. You can do it in any kind of like, I've done it in coffee cups before. Anything that go in the oven, but come on, how cute is this? So, the prep. Uh, last night's red wine, or this afternoon's red wine, however you wanna take it. Some beef stock, obviously onions. Some people do not put celery. I like celery in it. Some fresh herbs, Gruyere, and French bread for our crostini. So, what I wanna do is I wanna get these onions cooking down and caramelized, so it's going in butter. And I use salted butter when I cook this. All right, so unlike the other soups that we've done, French onion, obviously the onion is the main event, we want to cut it in strips with my trash bucket. So I just take my onion, I cut it in half, tuck your fingers, because we like our fingers, and I'm going to go on an angle just so I can get them like this, nice and thin. I don't want like huge chunks, so that's one of the reasons I cut the onion in half. And when I saute these in the butter, and they'll start to caramelize, then I'll deglaze it with the red wine. Deglaze it with the red wine. Um, and I'm gonna cut the celery. Let me show you actually what I have you guys. And I'm gonna go. I like cutting the celery real thin on an angle. It just gives another, takes it to that level. Cut up my onions and in the pan. Oh, you gotta wanna see this. That's right. Why would I saute onions in anything of butter? So, dropping these in, and we are gonna go low and slow and caramelize these so they get all that sweetness out of the onions. Onions are one of the best ingredients you can work with. All right, in the pot, we have our celery and our onions. I'm gonna put our fresh herbs, just like I did the week before, put in them whole. They're gonna cook out. So, lower the heat, and right now what I'm gonna go do is cut my crostinis up. Whoop! Check that baguette out. That pretty? So we're gonna cut these. I like to cut them on an angle so they sit nice inside of my crock pot. All right, our onions have sauteed down. What we're gonna do now is hit them with a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit of red wine. Get them to cook down just a little bit more. Our onions have cooked down with the wine and the herbs. And now we're gonna add our stock. So I got beef stock from Swanson again. Maybe they, maybe they give me a commercial, you know? Swanson, the best stock ever. We're gonna put it into our um, onions and start reducing it down. Just in case they follow on Instagram. We love Swanson. Okay, and our stock in. Um, I just turned the oven on to a broiler and I cut my crostinis. Oh yeah, let's get this thing simmering. Let's do some chicken dumpling soup. So I'm out of stock, so I cleaned a chicken. Um, I have the breast, the back, and like the whole carcass. We're gonna make dumplings with our eggs, flour, butter. The lemon is must suppress, secret ingredient. 
and some fresh herbs. So let's get the veggies cut up and sweating with the chicken and water so we can start our stock, then we'll work on our dumplings. I mean, at this point, you guys should be professional soup makers and know exactly what's going to start this one off. That's right, carrots, celery, and onion. We're gonna do a nice medium dice, get it sweating, get our chicken in there. So let's arrange our French onion. So in the pot, which let me just show you how to here, is our soup, it reduced down, it's beautifully, I'll show you the color when I pour here, beautifully, beautiful. So getting lots of onions and broth, and I'm putting them on here. Just a little caliente. So I'm gonna fill it up right under the first lip. Then I have my baguette, which I sliced up for my croutons. I'm gonna put them right on top. And then I got my Gruyere cheese, which I'm gonna line up like this. Hold on. Ah. I'm gonna put this in the middle of my sheet pan. And I'm gonna put this in my broiler. Here's the before. Just wait for the after. Okay, get those veggies in. And there is the after, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I'm just gonna go grab a spoon. Hold on. Waiting for anybody. Now, I wish I did get a piece of cheese um, and cut it the other way, but, oh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. We have our stock on with our veggies, but we're gonna make the dumplings real quick. So it's a teaspoon of butter, a half a cup of milk, baking powder, salt and pepper, and in here we have sugar and flour. We're gonna mix all the ingredients together to make a dough, and then we're gonna go check on the soup so we can drop it in. Okay, so when you mix it together, it's supposed to make a kind of pancake batter, and I brought our stock up to a boil right now, so we're gonna drop it in so that it formats. I think I'm gonna use a scooper like I did the first week with matzo ball. Okay, so our soup, let me get a spoon here. I shredded the chicken. We have all those veggies. I added a little fresh parsley. And here is our beautiful chicken soup. We got it at a rolling boil, and we're gonna do our dumplings. So, dipping, scooping, Dropping. That's what we're gonna do. Chicken dumpling soup coming your way. Very much like the concept of matzo ball. I like this. They float to the top pretty fast. I actually started doing them a little smaller because there's some big dumplings. Dumpling. So I don't know about you. I just finished the dumpling soup. But after this month of all these soups, I'm souped out. Let's find out what we're gonna figure out to do next month for February, the month of love.